Welcome to Simply Flute and welcome to my home, London. My name is Paul Edmund Davis and I'm a flute player behind Simply Flute. This is the taster site for Simply Flute. Uh, we hope to launch later in the year, but we thought we'd give you a, a few tasters of what Simply Flute will be about. Initially, we'll be aiming at intermediate to advanced flute players as a study facility. And we will be taking studies from the 19th century, mainly Italian, French and German. This for me is the, the golden era of the flute really. There was so much happening in Europe in the 19th century and with the arrival of the Bohm system flute, everyone was trying out new things. So it was a very exciting time for flute. I've taken this material and brought it up to modern times. On Simply Flute, we will be providing you with a video performance of myself playing a study, teaching notes, a further video of me talking about what we have to look out for in these studies and what the study is about and what we have to practice. I think this means play with a warm sound and Play and then four death. exercises will accompany each study, focusing on the difficulties or the awkward passages that appear in those studies. I think it's always very important that when we play studies, we actually know why we're playing these things, rather than just playing them because there's lots of notes in them. And very much so with a lot of the 19th century study repertoire for flute, there are very, very specific reasons why we are playing these things. With all of these studies, for me, there are four things that we will always need to be working on. The most obvious, of course, is sonority. We need to be make sure that we're always making a good sound. The next one is articulation. Again, we need to focus on exactly what the tongue is doing. It doesn't matter whether it's Baroque music or 20th century music. We have to adapt our articulation to suit the style, the volume, the colours of the music that we're playing. Then we've got these things, the fingers, these unruly characters that never quite seem to do exactly what we tell them to do. And in particular, in each hand, those four fingers. Lots of exercises for fingers so that we become more fluid in our finger work. And the final area for me are intervals. Three octaves of the flute and sometimes we have to move from a very high note to a very low note incredibly quickly. So we have to have a very clear understanding of exactly what it is required either with the lips or with the lips and with the support mechanism. And those are the four key areas that we'll be working on in Simply Flute.